Paramount community held a rally today to honor the life of a 22 year old man killed in broad daylight at a park in Claremont a week ago. Our Sarah Barker is live with the latest on the investigation and the message from the community. Sarah. Good evening to you both, Misha Jason. The Claremont community gathered today at the exact park where this happened just a week after this deadly shooting that claimed the life of a 22 year old man, a life taken too soon. Now, the Claremont community says they're sending a message that they want to stop the violence and take back the park. This comes as San Diego police have not yet identified a suspect and say that they is, this is an active investigation. Um, it's the least we can do. Exactly seven days to the hour of a shooting that took the life of Cesar Lopez Sandoval. When this happened last Sunday, I, we were devastated. The Claremont community gathered outside the North Claremont Recreation Center to support the family and call on the community to stand uh, against violence. And he was as two, admired as a rapper. He was very talented and he had a great future ahead of him. The shooting sending shockwaves through the community who says a youth basketball game Game was happening just yards away. How many of our children witnessed this thing? A 22 year old boy's life was taken in broad daylight. And it's like, how can that happen? Sorrow, shock and anger. Those emotions are the driving force for Michael Palmieri, who's spearheading the efforts in the community he's called home for four decades. This is my community. This is my park. This is my family. These are my friends. And I'm going to stand up to do everything I can to discourage criminal activity in the middle, in the heart of Claremont. This was an isolated incident. This is not something that happens in the, this park or any parks within Northern Division on, on a regular basis. San Diego police gave an update on their investigation during Sunday's rally and say they will have increased patrols in this area. Uh, the homicide unit is processing evidence and going over witness statements uh, to try and identify and locate the, the suspect or suspects involved in this, in this heinous crime. My goal is to get out of the city or somebody, and I'm willing to put money in to install some web cameras. Yeah, make Claremont safe again. And again, San Diego Police Department say this is an active investigation and they're urging anyone who may have information on this to contact the Homicide Division or SDPD or Crime Stoppers to remain anonymous.